The music and the occasion go, one, go hand in hand. I mean, of course, I grew up here in the city listening to uh, Professor Longhair's early Let's Go to Mardi Gras when, back in the, the late 40s, I think, or early 50s when he recorded it. And you knew it was officially Mardi Gras when the radio station started playing that. I'm in Bodala, see, every year at carnival time, you make a new suit. I mean, um, um, the Mardi Gras, Mambo, Mambo, it just, so, it's, the music is so good, the music is just really festival. I mean, it's um, what I would call uh, seasonal. I mean, it just, I mean, you can put on a Mardi Gras record right now and you would have a Mardi Gras kind of feeling. And we put on the second line, but up, but up. First thing you think is Mardi Gras morning, you know? The city has created a whole lifestyle based on this one day. So I think the music, if it works around Mardi Gras, it works all year round. You can, you know, any time in June, if you hear that good Mardi Gras music and stuff, if you truly love this environment, then you love that song, you love that music, and it's gonna be a good night. Mardi Gras to me is a, a, um, a celebration, it's a, a carnival celebration uh, that represents um, a celebration that's really based out of Brazil because New Orleans is really the northernmost Caribbean city and New Orleans is influenced a lot by uh, culture from Brazil. I mean, even the second land music is influenced a lot by samba. So I, I look at carnival now, especially having studied a lot of uh, Brazilian culture, I see carnival as a sort of, um, as a, a no, more northern celebration of that same thing. I know for me and, you know, a lot of the drummer, Johnny Vodakovich, you know, I mean, the whole second line thing, I mean, is in full swing during Mardi Gras, of course, you have all kinds of bands walking around, and um, f to be a New Orleans drummer uh, means to, you know, really um, be involved in, you know, second line drumming in one way or another. Everybody's got their own take on it, and with Mardi Gras going on, you got all the different you know, the Indians and the brass bands and even the marching bands, you know, um, going on. I, I take a little bit of inspiration from all that stuff. So, you know, definitely Mardi Gras influences me as a musician. And then, uh, you know, I'm sure that, yeah, the music definitely, I mean, what would Mardi Gras be with without music, you know? If you're just parading around and there's no music to parade to, it's like, yeah, so yeah, they definitely go hand in hand.